I'm going to go ahead today and look at skill number one, which is setting up a new document in Adobe Illustrator. So I've got Illustrator open, but I don't have a document going. So I need to create a new one. To do that, I'm going to go up to File, New. And it's going to give me this pop-up window. Now, I've got a lot of options. You might not have as many options as I do because I have previously created documents. You need to basically choose which type of document you want. So to do that, you're going to go near the top. And you're going to go up to Print. When we talk about documents, we're gonna imagine them kind of like pieces of paper. And so generally, if you're gonna grab a blank sheet of paper, it's letterhead. Letterhead is your standard eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper, what you put in a printer, um, what you draw on or whatever, you know, when you get a handout, what it looks like. So we're gonna use letter. So I've got lots of options, tabloid, B4. Again, a lot of these are specific to different media. We're gonna to go to letter. And I'm gonna go over here and now look at my preset details. Now I've got a lot of options that I need to check right here very quickly. And I wanna walk you through those. The first thing I wanna do is give this a title. I'm gonna title it practice one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and decide how big my document needs to be. Now letter comes with a predefined width and height. So it's saying the width is 612 points and the height is 792 points. Now points is a unit of measurement that I do not use ever in life and I doubt you do either. So I'm gonna change this by hitting this drop down arrow, selecting inches, and now you can see that the width is eight and a half inches by 11 inches. And again, that's a standard letterhead size. So I wanna go ahead and always, when I'm creating a custom size, I use inches, so you have to change that. Sometimes people don't, and next thing I know, they've made an eight and a, eight and a half pixel wide document, which is really tiny and not a good thing. Orientation, when we're talking about orientation, basically is it uh, portrait style, which is up and down, or is it side to side like landscape? You can choose either. Mine is not being super responsive for some reason, uh, but you can see then also when I change that to landscape, how it switches the width and the height over here. I'm gonna leave mine as a portrait and I'm gonna go to artboards. When I talk about artboards, generally you're gonna want one. Sometimes we'll give you documents with more than one artboard. And basically each artboard is like its own sheet of paper. Um, one piece of paper is usually fine for a document, but you might want several next to each other. If you open up the level one Illustrator worksheet, it's actually got four artboards on there. You're gonna go ahead and leave this at one. For bleed, you can leave that stuff alone. You don't need it. For color mode, I'm gonna go ahead and change this. Right now it says CMYK color. And that's great if you're gonna print something. Um, this stands for the colors of ink that we use in a printer, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Someday we can talk about why black is K, don't worry about it right now. I'm gonna change that to RGB, because RGB is the color scheme that works best for screens. Um, your screen is set up with different little light emitting diodes, and they emit either a red, green, or blue light. So this is great for screens. You're gonna get a caution mark, it's gonna say something about the color range um, is out of, you know, different than the document profile. We've taken care of that for you, don't worry about it. You need to make this RGB. I can go into more settings if I wish, and I get a couple other things. A lot of these are the same, and so I don't really need to worry about them. Um, it still has my letter, my width and my height, my units are inches. It's just being redundant, so I can kind of ignore that. You probably don't need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to create, and now I've created a new document. This is my document, you can see the boundaries here. And then over here, this is my workspace. Um, it's kind of like if my paper were setting on a gray table. So I can even set things over here. You can see on the little header tab over here, this is the info about my document. It's got my title, practice one. I'm zoomed in to 146%. That's because it's just filling the screen. I can always change that if I want um, by zooming in. We'll teach you that later. My color profile is RGB, and I'm in preview mode. And again, you don't need to worry about that. Um, if I were gonna go in again, and let's say I wanted to create a second document, go to File New, this will pop up yet again. It saved my settings from last time, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and keep those settings and call this one Practice 2. I'm gonna create that. Now in Practice 2, maybe I go in and I create a rectangle. Well, that's almost a square, good for me. I did a good job. I'm gonna go over here now and I'm gonna cl uh, click on ellipse and create a circle on my practice one. 
But you can see then if I click over here on this tab, practice two, this is my other document, how they're separate. So you can create multiple documents if you need to. But most of the time when we tell you to create a document, you just need to go in, create one with one artboard and all the settings that I just showed you. Um, once you're done, I don't need to save this one. But once you're done uh, working, you're just going to make sure you save it before you exit out and you should be good to go. Uh, next, we're going to show you how to go ahead into the Illustrator worksheet and work on a couple of those skills.